Right, so we will move on to question number 10. So you have given uh, three salts and their KSP values. Which of the following shows the order of the three saturated solutions of these salts in decreasing concentration of uh, cation A plus? Give me a second again. Sorry for this. <laughs> Okay, so what it says, what is asked is, uh, which of these three solutions will be first present as it's in the saturated form, which has a minimum cation concentration of A plus. Okay, so which means if you have a minimum A concentration here, A plus concentration, which solution would still be as a saturated solution okay so the simple thing that you can do is since the ksp values have been given so for ax the ksp value is uh, i would write like this <coughs> sorry for that Sixteen into ten to the power minus ten. Sorry again. In the same way, uh, I can write this for a two y. So a two y it will be a uh, thirty two times 10 to the power minus 12. And AEZ will be, uh, yeah, 9 into 10 to the power minus 12, the same way. Okay, I'm not going to write down the units here. So first thing that you can do here is to find the A concentration for a saturated solution at 25 degrees Celsius and at pH 7. So here you will see the A plus concentration that is needed for a saturated solution. In a saturated solution will be four into 10 to the power minus five. Okay, so these are very straightforward things. Okay, I'm not going to tell you how I can find. You just need to write down the equilibrium and then you need to uh, write down the uh, solubility of AX as X then the solubility of A plus will be X, X minus will be X, so it will be X squared. So I can write down directly A plus concentration to the power squared will be equal to 16 into 10 to the power minus 10, and then A plus concentration would be this, right? And uh, in the similar way, I need to find uh, A plus concentration for this one. A to y so now it will not be very direct to write down the root of this one so this one also the a plus concentration will be uh, very straight because this is a, a one is to one salt so here the a plus concentration will be the root of this one which is uh, 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 okay then if i find uh, this one so what i'm normally do for these two as well. So I will write, I will write down the equilibrium first, A2Y uh, solid giving two A plus plus Y2 minus. So my KSP 32 times 10 to the power minus two will be equal to. So if I take the solubility of this as uh, X, this will be two X and this will be x right so this will be 2x uh, squared times x okay then if i find x here which is my um, uh, unknown unknown term so here there will be uh, 4x 
cube, which will be equal to 32 into 10 to the power minus 12. So x cube will be equal to uh what is x cube so 32 divided by 4 is 8 so 8 into 10 to the power minus 12 so i have to get the cube so i can write 2 as 2 to the power 3 very easily right x cube times uh this will be when you take the root this will be divided by 3 so it will be 10 to the power minus 4. So basically it will be x will be equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 4m. So my a plus concentration will be here 2x. So my a plus concentration is 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. So this will be 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 okay so now have i have three answers for my a plus concentration for these three different solution right now we need to find which solution need a minimum number of concentration minimum amount of concentration to exist as a saturated solution so according to this i see here in this uh, particular uh, answers for a is it it just need minus six ten to the power minus six concentration to get as a saturated so if you decrease the concentration from 10 to the power let's say 10 to the power minus one okay so if you are really uh understand what i am mean so if you start a saturated solution let's say because all these have a's and you have x minus y minus and z minus in the solution so you have a 10 to the power minus one concentration of a all three will be you know precipitated and all three will be automatically saturated because they are satur super saturated because they have a higher concentration of this if you start from 0.1 m and if you decrease down okay if you don't have a concentration of 10 to the power minus 4 so first this will not be a precipitate and second this will not be a precipitate and third this will not be a precipitate when you decrease because when you decrease down so you are decreasing from 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.001 0 0.0001 and 0 point so in the same way when you go from 10 to the power minus 5 you won't see this precipitating out because you don't have enough concentration of a plus when you decrease the concentration up to 10 to the power minus 5 because you need at least 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 to this to be as a saturated solution okay so when you decrease the concentration from a higher concentration you will first see that this won't be a precipitate which means this will not be the saturated solution first and then it will be this one and finally this will be this one so basically when you consider about the saturated solution so you need to understand a z will be the maximum time that it will remain as a saturated solution because it needs a very small amount of a plus so basically the trend is a z will be uh the saturated solution for larger number of times then uh, it will be uh, ax again because it is also very little than a to y finally a to y so this is the order so which one has this order yeah so the answer is a uh, second one 